Hey, this is Abel with the Control Street coming at you one more time in a video. Kind of excited about this video. I actually took some time with it. Um, it was a special little project in our office uh, this past week and took my time with editing all the footage and took some pictures. And uh, so let me just introduce this video. What we had was a uh, quick retrofit of our uh, Liebert Mini Mate that's in our office. Uh, we have a real tiny um, IT server room that's about the size of a five by five closet. And um, essentially, uh, we had some issues with it in the past and we figured, well, it was a good time. We had some spare time on our hands and decided to change out the Liebert thermostat that was on the wall and put in um, our control system, which is Delta Controls, and decided to put us a, a stat and a controller in the unit. So some of this video footage and the photos are all gonna be about that particular little mini project and uh, hopefully it'll help you even though it's on a, a small scale, it'll help you understand uh, what's involved with uh, retrofitting a unit that either already had a control system or maybe it had like a standalone stat or something like that on the wall. Uh, so hope you enjoy the video. Uh, be sure to make some notes uh, about any questions you might have. Uh, if you want me to explain anything in more detail, Make sure you put it down in the comments down below uh, and I'll make sure I answer those either in the comments or maybe I'll make another video um, looking back on the uh, retrofit project and uh, answer those questions for you. So don't be shy, write those down and then make sure you go to the comments and type them in for me. Uh, that way I can actually answer them for you. This green controller is going to come out, right? The green controller yeah, is going to come out. So you're talking about the uh, lever stat that we have on this unit, and it has a green controller board in there. Yeah. And you're asking, do we rip that one out? How many wires is it a? Is it got the RGYW type wire, stat wiring, or is it just a communication stat wiring to that green circuit board? Uh, don't actually know. Yeah, it's four wires. As four wires? Red, green, brown, and black green, brown, and black. Yeah. So based on the markings on that circuit board, can you tell if it like, does it control the fan or cooling or do you think it's like communication and power? Well, it says TB3 is what this is going to. And there's a T plus, T minus, five volts and ground. All right, so now that they, the question you have is when these wires going to what do you think now now that you see what the markings are for that thing it's just uh, communication so the stat has power just like our DNS sense it has power and then the other two are communication all right so now you got to look at that green circuit board and decide where the outputs of that circuit board are and essentially we are going to replace the op we don't have to rip it out but we're not going to use that green board anymore to control the compressor and the fan we're going to figure out where the 24 volt low voltage type wires go to to be able to tur uh, turn on and off the contactors for the fan or the contactors for the compressor. There's probably another terminal strip or there'll be a bunch of wires coming off of that green circuit board that uh, actually go to that. Figure it out. So real quick, just to go over a retrofit project. Um, a couple of things you want to do no matter the size, whether it's a small little Liebert Mini Mate that we're taking over, which is a single unit, or whether it's a complete controls project, there's a couple of items that you want to make sure you do. One, you need to identify the existing control system. And this is very important because you don't want to just open up a panel, start cutting wires, and then say, um, let's see, where do these wires go? Wrong. What you want to do is don't touch anything. You take the covers off or you open up that control cabinet and you want to look inside. You want to make notes, have a little piece of paper or if you've got a laptop or something, you want to make some notes. Depending on where you're at, you need to make some notes. Whether you're writing down colors of wires, numbers of terminals, TB123, plug number 123, you must make notes. And the reason why I say that from years of experience is you're going to go in there and you say, oh, I know what this is and you start clipping wires. Next thing you know, uh, I shouldn't have cut that wire. And guess what? It's only this long and you cut it right in the middle and now it's not enough to be able to try to get a wire note on it. So from experience, learn from experience guys. One, identify the existing control system or the, the existing wiring. Write notes, figure it all out first, okay? All right, Control Freaks up here now looking at it and we're just gonna go over a couple of parts and pieces real quick. 
obviously if you guys haven't seen it um, well this is a uh, I'm up in above the ceiling tiles of our office here and this little unit here was put up here just to pretty much cool a 5x5 five five closet that's our little IT closet so this unit is like totally oversized but hey this is a compressor right there what we're trying to do right now is figure out the controls we're going to rip out the existing uh, Liebert stat and put our own stat and the existing stat looks like it wires to this brown stat wire which is pretty typical uh, brown stat wire with some multi-conductors and this one's got a, probably an eight conductor and we're only using four and as a uh, my uh, buddy Cody here just told us uh, this is probably just for uh, power and communication. Next step is to find out what exactly are we turning on and off and where those wires go to. As we look further here, these are going to be uh, your relays. Uh, these are a certain style of relays that are pretty common inside uh, HVAC units, these here. Um, in addition to that, these relays have some labels usually. and. The top one here, if you can't see, is labeled HGBP, which is hot gas bypass. Um, I'm going to guess that this contact here, it says DHR, and I'm guessing. This is this is how I do things. If I don't know exactly what it is, I take a look at it. I just take some good guesses uh, based on experience. So DHR uh, might be a dehumidifier reheat or a duct heat reheat or something like that. Um, what I'm really looking for is the compressor and the fan. Those are the only two things we're really worried about. And that's pretty easy to trace down because I can follow some of these wires. And usually the biggest contactors you're going to see, which are like this guy right here, this contactor there. Um, if you follow the uh, power wires, which are going to be the uh, browns coming off of here, um, I see that the brown wires come right here to the compressor. So I know that that contactor is definitely what we need to turn, in, turn on and off for the compressor. And these two wires here on the outside are your coil to that contactor there. So all I'm going to do is just trace back these wires coming off of the contactor. One side is going to be common, one side is going to be hot. And if I look at both of these, both sides of those wires come down here to the control board somewhere. Uh, of course, making it hard for camera, they all come to a zip tie. So tugging on wires, I'm sure I'll figure out where those actually go to. But some of them hit right here. And so those look like two outputs. And don't know, if it's not enough light really, and I can't really get in close to them. But I'm going to look at those. That's going to probably be your outputs off of this green uh, internal controls board. And uh, we'll probably take control, take these off of there, and that'll be our compressor start stop. Uh, another giveaway for what wires are is if I look there, there's a small little capacitor. Uh, typically, fan motors have a little fan capacitor to get uh, the motor actually spinning uh, once you first start. So if I trace back those wires, I'll probably find out uh, where the actual contactor is. Uh, right off the bat, I'll look at the biggest wires, which are these brown wires right here that go with one white wire and a blue wire, and they all disappear inside this little grommet uh, on the back side there. That tells me that's probably going to the fan motor up inside there. So all these things kind of give me a good hint of where the equipments are and what I'm going to actually make and break to start and stop. And so all I'm going to do is probably uh, let Cody watch this or come back up here with him and uh, show him the parts and pieces, and he's going to make it happen, and we're going to control this unit. All right, we're getting ready to hit the 10 minute limit, so we've got to call a little bit of intermission on this one. Uh, meanwhile, we'll let Cody get up there, start cutting the wires, mounting in the new control board. You have time to get those notes that I know uh, you've been writing down just like I asked you to, and go ahead and start typing it down in the comments, or come on to the, uh, my blog site at thecontrolsfreak.com and uh, write your, your comments there at the uh, bottom of the article there. I definitely keep an eye on those. I get emails on those immediately. So if you put a comment on the site, I'll probably respond to you in a few minutes. Um, so make sure you uh, do that as well as do a little thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, let me know uh, you like what you see and I can uh, get better and better at it. So uh, catch you in the next video. We're gonna finish up installing that new control system. All right, take care. All right, so as Cody's still on the ladder here pulling out stuff and we're retrofitting our little uh, in-office unit, these are the kinds of controls that maybe you'll find. Uh, this looks like to be the uh, maybe the GLAD Tupperware version um, of the uh, humidity temp sensor uh, with the good old uh, duct tape uh, mounting bracket, uh, which might work something like this inside the, uh, the duct. So that's definitely uh, probably got a one-year warranty on it probably, I'm guessing. Uh, but I just wanted to let you enjoy the uh, another one of the colleagues here called the Aspiration Mounting uh, Enclosure. So that one's going to go away.